Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. I hope that you like it here and you enjoy these videos that I create. So it's been a little bit, I got sick, uh, with a cold, bug, whatever. It is, what an awesome time to be sick right now too. <laughs> with the whole coronavirus thing going around, but yeah. Um, I feel like today I was feeling a little bit better, so I thought I would review some products that I got and try kind of like a full face of new products and see how well I like them. Let me take a sip of my coffee really quick. So if I do sound weird, my voice sounds all groggily, then because I am sick and I'm trying, and my body's really trying to get over it. I'm gonna start off by telling you that Hard Candy, the drugstore makeup brand, came out with a Marilyn Monroe inspired makeup collection. And I was so excited when I saw it. I actually had other makeup in my hand and I put it back so that I could try out this. But this, look at the packaging. Um, it's got her signature on it and everything. And then this is translucent powder with rose hip oil. A body powder too. They had like four different kinds of uh, lip, or they had two different kinds of lip glosses, lip gloss lipsticks, and then two different kinds of lipsticks. And the lipstick that I got is a tinted lip balm, which is what their lipsticks were, or hers. And um, mine is a like coconut rose. I got these like four or five days ago. <laughs> um, and then I got sick. Flower cute. Okay, yeah, so this is the coconut rose tinted lip balm. And it's got Marilyn Monroe on it. Isn't that just the cutest? And with her little signature and these roses, I thought it was kind of adorable. Let's see what it looks like. It's a pretty color. What's the color? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Um, the Syrup Kiss Lip Stain, and this is in her signature red color, and this is like the lip gloss lip stain. Um, also, like I said, I think this one has coconut oil in it. Here's what it says. Um, says America's Bombshell Coconut Rose Tinted Lip Balm helps to condition and smooth lips for a perfect pout. What I love that they came out with this line is that they're cruelty free. And a lot of their products are a lot better. So this is what it looks like. Again, having it, it has Marilyn Monroe right on the cap with her signature. And then it's got all these roses on here. Lip syrup is a girl's best friend. Non-sticky cushion packed with payoff and infused with rose hip. Syrup kiss luscious formula will lock in color without drying out your lips. Which is very important because a lot of these lip stains can really dry out your lips. The last thing that I had gotten for, because I didn't want to grab like all of them and then not like them just in case. So I'm excited to try them out, but I only got like some of the items. The last thing that I got was this Starlit Glow Strawberry Face Cream. I like the packaging, the pinkness. Um, and it says, indulge in Hollywood's best kept secret for radiant skin. This strawberry serum helps to brighten complexion so you can put your best face forward. So the next two things that I got, well, here's one more thing I got from Hard Candy, but it wasn't from the Marilyn Monroe collection. But this is Pinking of You. I haven't tried this. This is what it looks like. I just thought it was cute, and especially since spring is coming, even though it just snowed yesterday. Just had to give us one last reminder that we <laughs> that I live in Minnesota. Okay, so this other product I got from CoverGirl, and it piqued my interest. And it is their new foundation. I like the pink packaging too. Okay, so it says, 
Skin Milk Nourishing Foundation with coconut milk and aloe extract. A dewy finish, which I like dewy finish foundations, and it is vegan. So that is nice because I am trying to, no matter what products I get now, if I do get new products, I like them to be cruelty free. But today, I would try to do a little bit of a glam look, nothing too crazy over the top. But I thought that that would be kind of cute, especially with doing this Marilyn Monroe stuff. Um, I have a video on my channel where I already do a Marilyn Monroe inspired look. So I might do a little bit different than that just because I don't want to repeat too many looks. Not more of a modern glam would be something fun to try. So I put on a little bit of glam outfit today. Got some gold. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this Starlight Glow Strawberry Face Serum. I already have, um, well I don't have any makeup on, but I did wash my face and exfoliate and then I have on um, coconut oil for moisturizer. So I'm interested to see how these will work together. I'm just gonna dispense a little bit here. Let's try two pumps for now. Mm, it smells good. It's not like too crazy over the top. I am nervous for how this will work though, like as for irritating skin. I'm just gonna do one little half pump and do my forehead here. I feel like my skin is super dry because I have been sick and I was really bad and not really keeping up with washing my face. I'm going to dispense another pump, put some down my neck because we're gonna be putting foundation there too. <sighs> I might put a little bit more. It definitely dries into the skin really fast. Put in it to this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Nourishing Foundation. This one. I like to dab it in with my beauty blender. It feels so lightweight, which is really nice. And it feels nourishing, I guess. Like, I don't know. Like my skin doesn't feel dry or anything. Um, but this is just putting it on at first. Um you can definitely see my imperfection. I don't know if you can see that through it, so I'm gonna put a little bit more. What is nice with that strawberry serum is I feel like it did take away a lot of the redness though, like in my skin, except around my nose because I'm sick. But yeah. All right, what am I looking for? Okay, so I'm gonna go in. The, I was using this ELF HD Soft Powder, and I was liking this. The only thing I didn't like after a little bit, though, was that I felt like it kind of, it didn't give like, I don't know, maybe like a luminizing powder is better for like dry skin. And this one I feel like, didn't always look the greatest like up close, but I still really liked it as opposed to some other ones. Oh, I guess I need to press that. So we're gonna go in with this translucent powder with rosehip oil. I've never really used products with rosehip oil. So this is new for me. Oh, I guess I need to put on some concealer first, guys. 
I did not get new concealer, so I'm using this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. And I almost feel like since I put on that strawberry stuff, like I almost don't need concealer because it really did even out stuff and I cover up stuff pretty good. Um, but let's just do a tiny bit anyway. I don't really use as much concealer as I used to. Go in with a beauty blender and just dab that out. And I feel like this coronavirus right now really has people freaked out and stocking up on lots of toilet paper, which I understand. Um, and because you need toilet paper if you're gonna be like in one place for a long time. The foundation. Does it feel like it looks pretty good. I almost feel like the strawberry stuff, it like evens your complexion, but it almost like warms it up just a little bit without it being too aggressively different than your skin tone. The dewiness of this foundation so far, I feel like it is a little bit, but it's not like really dewy powder. I'm gonna take a little bit of that translucent powder. This one right here. And then set my eyes. And I'm going to set just a tiny bit. You don't want to set too much under your eyes. Just lightly dabbing. I feel like it has a little bit of a glow to it. What do you guys think? Maybe it is the strawberry or the rosehip oil and then this underneath my makeup too. I feel like it looks pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna do a sweet glam look because this is a full face. New products to me. I don't know how long that this uh, pinking of you eyeshadow has been out, but it's new to me and that's what counts. These ones actually say new on them and they are newer and this is new. It comes with a little brush, like so. I really do like little fluffy brushes like this because I feel like they almost work better. So pretty and shimmery and romantic looking. What can we do with this, guys? What we will do is go in with, with the maroon shade right here and put it in our crease area. And then blend it out. You could obviously use your brushes if you want to as well. But I thought I would try using the one in here. Comparison to the fluffy brush that I have here. I see, this is like a little mini one. And with this, kind of see comparison with that product. Yeah, it's really pretty. And I feel like it's pretty pigmented. Though I feel like this larger brush, and I think maybe just because it um, covers a wider vicinity, is that it, all, it looks a little bit more opaque and saturated. So I'm gonna go in with this white shimmery shade right here. More of the flat brush side that came with it. And go right under my brow and not too thick of a line. And I also don't like to drag it out here too much. Just like slide it out. And as you can see, it kind of gives like the eyebrow a lift. <laughs> I'm gonna take some more and put it in my inner 
to this area. Okay. I've been needing a new white shimmer. Look at how much bigger this eye looks and how much more awake it looks as well. Okay. And then I'm gonna go and take that white shade. And on one side of this black-ish brush and tap it on my lid. I like that these are pretty opaque. And I'm going to go in with this brown shade right here with the fluffy brush side and put it in my outer V crease area so like right about here this felt like it would be pretty These are so romantic looking. I really like it. With that maroon shade. And we're gonna go right on the outer half. Yeah. It looks really pretty. And that to this rose gold, kind of keeping it around the romantic shades here a little bit this one's a little bit darker these ones are a little bit more romantic um uh, but anyway so the last two shades are like grayy purpley shades right here and i'm going to mix those together and Right in the two. And then we're going to create a small wing. Just right at tiny bit right at the outer edge. Like that. Let's do a little bit of mascara. put any on the bottom. I don't really like to on a regular basis. I feel like it creates a little bit softer line um, there, a dreamier, softer line for your lashes. Um, I got a little bit on there. So, and I'm going to wait for my lashes to dry. And while I'm doing that, just time for a tiny bit of blend back. do um, a much pinkish blush just to flush our cheeks a little. We'll call this romantic glam. I feel like that's what I've been into lately. Um, girly romantic glam. Music though. We're gonna go back in this and I'm gonna show you how you can kind of use, well, not kind of, how you can actually use your eyeshadow as highlighter. And these are all shimmery shades. Uh, and I'm gonna go in 
with that pinkish tannish shade and see. I'm gonna go in that with this one and kind of this one. Sorry. And see how it looks. Let's see if it's too dark or not. Oh, I don't think so. I think it matches pretty decent. And this it will just be like a subtle highlight. So, which one should we do? Should we do the lip stain or the scented balm? How do you guys feel like my face has been holding up with using this product? Like the Marilyn Monroe products and stuff? And then the CoverGirl foundation? I feel like it looks really good. Try this first. We're going to try this on our lips, and this is the Coconut Rose shade. Oh, that's pretty. That is really hydrating for the lips. Holy moly, and it looks so, so nice. But I love it. This will be perfect for every day. We're gonna go in with the signature red just because I'm really excited to try this out. That's cold. I feel like it's such a pretty red shade different than I thought it would actually be because usually I use like this fire starter red shade if I can find it um here which is super super red and I feel like this is red yes but it's more of like a pinky red a softer red I guess um it's super pretty though I really really like it and it feels hydrating. Let's fill in our brows a little. Because I do have red hair, I'm mean, just the only thing I'm not going to use for that is high end, just because I want to use the maroon for this. Um, I go between this reddish brown shade and this rustic. Uh, or well, these two shades right here. And I need this red to kind of Match my hair with me. But it has like a slight red tint to it, which is nice. Yeah, I'm really liking this. It's like a fresh red color. I'm really happy with that. Now, what to do with my hair? I'll separate the hair tutorial and the um, makeup tutorial. So, for the makeup, I feel like I really liked the stuff that I used. As for this vegan foundation, I like it, but it's not quite as dewy as I expected. Um, but it still looks nice. Um, I like the uh, powder. I feel like it doesn't look too look crazy drying or anything like that on my skin. Um, impressed with both of these makeup products, or makeup products, lip products here. And uh, impressed with this strawberry serum i feel like it makes my skin definitely more evenly balanced um my complexion it's nice it smells good i feel hydrated 
And then um, I really liked this palette as well. I feel like it looks really pretty. Impressed. In the best. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Um, check out my hair tutorial on how to get these modern glam tousled waves. Um, especially the spring and summer coming up. Yeah. <laughs>